Do you currently live and work in the Bay Area and are thinking of moving to Healdsburg or buying a second home here? Before you make the move, there are some things which you definitely need to know about. In this video, I'll share with you the things I was surprised at when I moved to Healdsburg from Mill Valley. There's a reason so many people are looking to move here, but it's also important to know what to expect before taking the plunge. It's easy to think of Healdsburg as a sunnier version of Mill Valley, where there's lots of people drinking wine in tasting rooms rather than walking around in Lululemon gear. And I'll cover off everything from the outdoor lifestyle to eating out and the weather. If you love Mill Valley, there is definitely a lot to love about Healdsburg, but despite the positives, there are some things which you might really miss. There are some things that you might even dislike, like the bachelorette parties at the weekend or the freezing cold weather in winter. If you don't know me, my name is David Hargreaves, founder of Modern Living Sonoma. In just three years, I've become a top five agent in Healdsburg, helping over 50 people from the Bay Area, just like you. But you don't care about me, so let's talk about Healdsburg and why I love living here, why I'm glad I moved here from Mill Valley in the Bay Area. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to get more videos like this. So what is the weather like? You probably know it's hot, but it's really hot in the heat of summer. In Mill Valley, at least when I lived there, the heat never really stopped you doing something during the day, whether it's going for a hike or doing some yard work. That's definitely not true of Healdsburg. Some days, it's just too hot to be outside from two o'clock to five o'clock. But while it's hotter in summer, it's also quite a lot colder in winter. If you like going for a run or a ride early morning, you'll definitely need a new set of winter exercise gear. It's often zero degrees or, or even low in the middle of winter. Personally, I love the fact that it is more seasonal. We really do get like all of our seasons here. So what about eating out in Healdsburg? You probably know Healdsburg from visiting at the weekends. It definitely feels like a party town. Restaurants are full, Bachelorette parties are in full swing. The reality if you live here is very different. Have you ever visited Healdsburg on a cold Monday in winter? But most restaurants close on Monday and Tuesday, so eating out on those days is sometimes difficult. If you like to eat late or have a drink after dinner, you have to be quick because most places close at nine o'clock or shortly afterwards. That being said, rumor has it that there is a late night bar opening in Healdsburg. Maybe it will be even open till midnight. But what about the outdoor lifestyle? Do you like hiking or biking? If you live anywhere near Mount Tam and enjoy the outdoors, I guarantee you'll definitely miss it. There is a reason that mountain biking was invented in Marin. Yeah, we do have lots of great hiking and biking here, but it's definitely hard to compete with Mount Tam and everything that that has to offer. That being said, there is some great gravel, mountain and road biking in the area. It just isn't all right on your doorstep in the same way that it is in Mount Tam and Mill Valley. So do you like to travel? In driving to Tahoe or flying to Europe? Everything is that much further away from Healdsburg. If you're going to go skiing in Tahoe, you need to add that extra hour to your journey. If you're going to go to the Sierras to go hiking or go to Yosemite, again, you have to add that extra hour to your journey. If you're used to jumping in an Uber to San Francisco airport, it's definitely a long and expensive Uber ride from Healdsburg. It's not a big deal, but it makes you look at flying slightly differently. You'll definitely get to fall in love with Sonoma County Airport. The destinations are, you know, they are pretty limited, but there are lots of options for flying on the West Coast. American Airlines, for example, flies to Phoenix, um, also flies to Dallas. And then you've got new airlines such as uh, Avalo, which is now flying to Palm Springs, which is, which is fantastic. In addition, there are flights to San Diego, to LA, to Portland, um, and Seattle. But what about if you like going to the coast? If you live in San Francisco or you live in Marin, the ocean's definitely never far away from you. You know, if going to Ocean Beach or Stinson Beach is your thing, you know, it's an easy ride or drive. In Healdsburg, the ocean is just that bit further away. For example, driving to Jenna is probably a 40 minute drive. The good news is, that it's always a lot cooler there, and particularly in the heat of summer when Healdsburg does get really hot, it's a great place to go. And the Sonoma coast is also every bit as beautiful as the Marine coast, maybe more so. One of the things I often get asked about is healthcare services. You know, are you concerned about the proximity of hospitals and, and healthcare services to Healdsburg? You know, there is a municipal hospital in Healdsburg, but it definitely has its limitations. The nearest big hospitals are Kaiser and Sutter in Santa Rosa. A lot of people, including myself, use these and are, you know, are very happy with them. However, if you live in San Francisco or Marin or the South Bay, you're probably used to the quality healthcare provided by UCSF. 
Now, even US UCSF isn't such a long way away, but if it is a concern, it would be worth doing some of your own research, depending on your specific circumstances. What about the people? What are the people like in Hillsburg? It's hard to put my finger on the differences moving from Mill Valley to Hillsburg when it comes to the people. There's no question that the demographic of Healdsburg residents is older and that the community is, is definitely less child-centric. I also feel it's easier to get to meet people in Healdsburg. It feels like just everyone has that much more time for each other. Perhaps it's the pace of life that is a little bit more relaxed. You, know, you don't hear people in coffee shops talking about you know, their next funding round or your latest, latest startup venture like you do in Mill Valley. I mean, it's not for me to say if that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's, it's just different. I get the overriding feeling that everyone here is just, I don't know, just that bit more comfortable in their own skin. They don't have anything to prove to anyone. And if you live in downtown, I guarantee you'll be having drinks with your neighbor on the porch within the first, you know, within the first few months. It's just that kind of place. It's easy to believe when you see some of the press about Healdsburg, that moving here from the Bay Area is all upside. As far as I'm concerned, the pros far outweigh the cons. It's definitely a nicer place to live with amazing people and a really great sense of community. However, there will be some things that you really miss. I certainly do. Hopefully the pros of moving here will far outweigh the cons. So if you are looking to buy a second home or move here permanently from the Bay Area, please do get in touch. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to see future videos. I'll see you in the next video.